very handy. What's happening everyone? Welcome back to the workshop. Hope you're all doing well. Now I have a nice short little video for you guys today. It's kind of a tool review video, some marking tools. So I've been using these Pika markers for a while now in my day job as an electrician and I found them to be absolutely excellent. So I wanted to show you guys this. And I've also got a new Pika set which I've bought. This is the joiner set, so the master joiner set. So it's kind of designed specifically with woodworkers and makers in mind. And there's multiple different sets and pen options you can get with these Pika markers, which I'll go through in this video. I'll show you these in operation. They're pretty cool. I really like them. I've been using them, in, like I said, in my professional work, and I've been using them in my hobbyist job as a woodworker slash maker in my workshop. So I said I would share it with you guys. Now, this is not paid for or sponsored. I just bought these with my own money, but I like them so much, I said, I would do a little video on them. So let's have, jump in, have a look. Okay, let's jump in and have a look at this set. Now I have multiple different wood types here. I can just show you some of the stuff you can do with this. Bit of metal here as well, just for marking out, just to give you guys a rough idea. It's not that complicated, you're gonna get it pretty quickly. But like I said, this is the master set, the joiner set here. Um, comes with a free marker. Now I'm not sure exactly how that marker is free when you've paid for the set, but they tell you that one is free. But you get essentially four different things in it. I will show you now. So this is the case it comes in. Nice case, Velcro strap. So you have a white um, permanent marker, which is very handy. You have the deep hole marker and you have the two deep hole pencils with the spare graphite leads here and the different colors as well. Now there's multiple different types of colors you can get and for different applications. So you can even get ones for working on wet surfaces. So if any of you tilers out there or maybe you um, chippies, you're working outside, you're working with wet timber and stuff, you need some way of marking um, that stuff. Sometimes graphite doesn't mark it too good. Well, you can get specific ones that are designed to work on water or wet surfaces as well and all different colors as well. And you can also get the big thick versions of these for the carpenter pencils. Um, these are more for the fine tip joiner pencils, which I'll show you now. So I've been carrying the deep hole marker around in my holster pocket for some time now. This is the one I use in work. You can see just how fine a tip there is on this marker. So it's excellent for doing templates and getting into holes, for marking boxes, that kind of thing. So the nice thing about a really fine tip is you can get right up against your edge. If you're marking out something, you're right against this edge, which is very handy. If you have a hole, something like this, and you need to mark it, so if that's raised, a standard marker is not going to get you in there. But this one is, if you're marking for fixings and stuff like that, you can get in there and mark it. So it's very, very handy. Another nice thing about it is you can pull this back and you can lengthen the tip. If you guys can see that, it's coming out on camera. You can also trim the tip as well. So if you're marking anything on masonry and you damage that tip, you can reset the tip as well. And it's refillable. Now there are the standard kind of um, alcohol permanent markers. You can refill them. To buy this on their own, they are pretty pricey. They're about eight euros, and that's a lot for a marker. But what they do is absolutely fantastic. Like I say, I've been using this non-stop, marking out materials with squares, a trunk and conduit, plastic trunk and plastic conduit, um, mounting boxes on the walls, things like that. Anything you need a deep hole for, this is absolutely fantastic. So that's a deep hole marker. That's what I've been using, and that's what kind of encouraged me to buy the rest of the set. Now, this is kind of more pertinent to what I do in my workshops. So let's go through what you get in the master joiner set. Okay, let's quickly go through the set. And this is what you guys are gonna be most interested in. So like I said already, we have a white permanent marker, very, very handy for writing on any kind of dark materials. You can see it there. So if you're doing any kind of metal work or working on any kind of black surfaces, you can really see this. So it's nice and easy for marking stuff out. It's just a white permanent marker. There's nothing special about it really. This is the deep hole marker, which I've just shown you guys. Now, one thing I really like about these is the holsters that come, they come in. So you have a nice strong clip here, which doesn't fall out of your pocket. Now, if you're like me, I can lose about 10 pens or pencils a day. And uh, I always end up, start out today with 10 things and end up with nothing at the end of the day. But I've had this one now for a few months in my holster pocket. It's locked in there. So just pop it in there every morning. It's there. I, in and out just like that and I never lose it and I found the same thing to be true of the pencils as well because they come in the same holsters so here is your pencil again same holster again when I'm in the workshop I just clip this on and my pencil is always with me so there is the pencil itself you guys can see it there so it's a nice narrow top on it again for marking in deep holes really nice fine point 
it comes with, like I said, multiple different lids you can get to put in these things, and it's very easy to pop out your lid. It's just a couple of clicks on the top here. You can see that lid extending. Press and hold, you can push it back in. If you want to replace the lid, nice and simple, just pull that one out. So there's your lid, or your graphite, I should say. So you just pop your new one in the top of the tube there, just like that. Top back on, couple of clicks, and there it is back out. Another nice thing about it as well is you have a sharpener right there in the bottom of the holster for sharpening these two things. Now it comes with two different pencils. It also comes with a bunch of different lids. Now why two pencils? Well, you can put a colored graphite lid in this and that's exactly what I've done. So I've got the yellow one in this. You get yellow, red and your standard kind of gray graphite color. And like I said, just multiple other colors you can get for this. So it's very handy, especially working with walnut, dark woods, that kind of thing where you cannot see the graphite, you can see the yellow. And again, same thing, a couple of pushes on the top, you can extend that out. You can sharpen them with the sharpener on the bottom. And like I said, there's multiple different leads available for all different types of surfaces as well. So really nice and handy. I'll give you guys a quick look at uh, some, just marking some of these different timbers with the different colors and you can see for yourself. Okay, starting off with a bit of maple, just have the square here. You can see how sharp a point you can get on these, so they're really good for precision marking. You can get right in close. Again, it's just a graphite pencil, but you can see how nice and fine a line you can actually get with these, and it's very easy to keep them sharp as well. It's just a case of put that in there and give it a little sharpen up, and away you go. So you get a nice, fine pencil line there, if you can see that. I'll just draw with the yellow one, which I have here, and then I'll pop the red one in. You can see that on the maple as well. So you can see, the yellow really does kind of pop out. It mightn't come out on camera there now. But uh, you can see it's very, very bright. It's kind of hard, I suppose, to see on camera on the maple. That's where something like the red would come in handy. So if I pull that one back out, I'll just pop in the red graphite, just like that. Give that a couple of punches out. And you can see nice, fine red line makes it very easy to see on the maple there. Let's get some different um, timbers. So here's a bit of sapili. Again, sometimes on sapili, I can find, you can find the graphite, the gray graphite can be quite hard to see. So that's quite difficult to see there now. If you're any way um, visually impaired, you can struggle a bit, especially in the darker timbers. Let's get the red on that now, you can see the red. So the red really pops out there. Hopefully that's coming out on camera. So for marking out things like Sapili, the red is excellent. You guys can see that, you can. And uh, let's just get the yellow in there so you guys can see that. On the Sapili, pop it in. A couple of pumps. And there is the yellow. So again, from marking out your pieces, it's nice to have the different colors and give you the different contrasts in the wood. Here's some walnut, again, walnut, especially the darker walnut, it can be an absolute nightmare to see your um, graphite pencil lines. Let me just put a few marks in this. Now, it's quite hard to see that. I don't know if it's even coming out on camera, the graphite lines, sometimes, in poor light, I really do struggle to see the gray on the walnut. But when you have something like yellow, it just pops out at you straight away. So it's very easy for even doing rough marking out of timber. You can see it there, the contrast. You can see how easy it is to see that on the different materials. So. There's the graphite, not so easy to see. Yellow really pops out and the red is pretty easy to see as well on that dark walnut. Now to sharpen the tips, couldn't be simpler. Just pump it out a small bit. There's your sharpener right in the end of the shaft. Let's just put that in, or in the end of the holster, I should say. Couple of turns and you can put a really nice fine point on it very, very quickly indeed. Press and hold. Just reset that in. Now I should also point out that you can push very, very hard on this and it doesn't go back up into the tip or up back up into the pencil. The graphite is really sharp, is really hard. You can really bang that and it does not go back up into the pencil at all. This is a bit more crayon-like, so that kind of waxy graphite. 
Um, so you can actually break these tips. They're a little bit, they're not nearly as hard wearing, say, as the standard graphite. The colored graphite or the kind of crayon type ones are a little bit more waxy, so they won't take as much punishment and you will use them up quicker. But yeah, there you go. Good and strong. Okay guys, so there we go, that's just a quick demonstration of the pencils and the marker and stuff in action. I don't need to do any more, you guys get the idea at this stage, very very handy. I found this Depot marker to be absolutely fantastic, that's what spurred me to get this set, like I said. I not a day goes by where this is not getting used. And again, the fact that the holster is there, it just means I don't lose the marker. I immediately know if it's not there. It's not like having a pen or a pencil in your pocket or in your ear. I always leave it out of my hand and forget to pick it back up again. But just having the holsters, even the pencil in the pocket here, in the workshop, I found this to be extremely handy. I always have my pencil with me. It always goes back in its holster and you also have the sharpener always on hand as well so long as you have the holster with you. It just helps you not forget because nine times out of ten what I would do with a standard pencil you either have it in your ear or in your pocket you leave it out of your hand and then you're walking around the workshop looking for that pencil but this one just always goes back in the holster. You just kind of form a habit and it stops you losing your pens and your pencils. And I've just found them to be excellent. So I said I would share that with you guys. So hopefully you've enjoyed that guys. Hopefully it's been informative. If you've not seen these Pika markers before, you have now. Um, like I said, they're available absolutely everywhere. I'll leave a link in the description to where I bought these particular ones and you guys can check it out for yourself. So that's it, I'm gonna get out of here now. That's been the Pika master set, joiner set. Hopefully you've enjoyed it guys. Give it a thumbs up if you, if you have uh, comments and questions below. I try to get back to everybody. So until the next project, I shall see you then. Take it easy.